can't park there, bud. Can't park there. Good wintry morning. It's Friday. Winter has arrived officially. We thought it was here already. No, no, now it's here. Snow plows are out. Salt trucks are out. Here we go. You know, I asked uh, the weather to impress me a couple of days ago. I said, let's see what you got, Manitoba. And to be honest, I'm still not impressed. You know, there's no snow banks that I have to go pushing through. I mean, the plows have already been on the roads, but I mean, it's a decent snowfall, but they were talking like it was gonna be, you know, a huge big blizzard up to a foot of snow, they said. 25 centimeters. That's just under a foot. I'm seeing what? Two, three inches? This is not a foot of snow. I think you can do better than this, Manitoba. It is quite slippery out today, so, you know, I'll give you the standard reminders. It's winter time. Please drive safely. Make sure you got your winter tires on. Make sure you got your four-wheel drive on when you need it. Remember, four-wheel drive doesn't help you stop faster. It just gives you more traction to get going. You still need a much longer space to stop on the ice, even with a four-wheel drive. And take her easy. Maybe leave a little earlier, you know? I was telling you guys that in summer already. Now it's winter time. Now I'm, I'm serious. Just leave a little earlier. No need to get all aggressive in this weather. Well, the road in is not good. I will say that. I was joking before when I challenged Manitoba on uh, on winter. I just want to point that out. Manitoba clearly thought that I was uh, serious. So we ramped it up a little bit here on the way into work. So we're doing uh, 50 to 50 kilometers an hour or so, which I'm happy with. I'm okay. Oh, we're slowing down even more. Okay, 40. It's probably about like 20 miles an hour, 25, somewhere in there, 30. And just leaving lots of space. I'm in no rush. I'd rather arrive to work with my truck and my body in one piece than uh, take a trip to the hospital and have my truck totaled. Uh, I've said it before, I know I sound like a broken record, but th this truck is paid off. So I don't want to total it. I like this one. It's mine. If I total it, sure, yeah, insurance will cover it and I'll, I'll get a different truck, but that truck won't be this truck. And I'm not going to get the value back that I put into it because trucks depreciate. So I'll get whatever it's worth now, which is less than what I paid for it. So it's not really, like I'm glad for, I'm thankful for insurance, don't get me wrong, but I'd really rather not use it. I'd rather just keep my truck in one piece, you know, and keep going. So we're taking it easy, taking it easy. Everyone behind me is actually acting very responsible. I just wanna, I just wanna say that. I was thinking that it would be chaos, chaos out here, but actually everybody's been very responsible, keeping a good distance behind me. No one's trying to make dangerous passes. Uh, I'm in a good group of cars here on their way to work. Everybody's sort of on the same page. Let's just get there and take our time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's gonna be a good day, right? It's gonna be a good day. Oh, there's people here already. What do you guys do, get up at two in the morning to get here this early? Man, how'd you get here so early? No clearing is in progress. That's probably Bill, I bet. Bill or Brendan, they're both in already. Of course they are, because they're awesome. Yikes, got a lot of snow here. Glad I plugged my truck in. I need four wheel drive just to get to my truck. Days like these, these are the exact kind of days why I drive a truck, a pickup truck. My camera seems to be glitching a little bit now, isn't it? It doesn't like the snow either. There she is. Just pulling right beside her here. Dust her off, 
Warm her up, get her ready for the day. You look cold, girl. So I'm not too sure what's going on with my camera right now. Are you guys noticing that it's like choppy a little bit? I'm gonna have to figure that out here while I get everything ready, but I'm gonna get the truck warmed up first. And uh, I'm on my GoPro Hero 8 now anyways. I got my Hero 10 right here, so I can always just switch over to that one. I was just saving that one, trying to keep it nice. Interesting, I just played back the footage from uh, just there, and now it's all smooth. So I don't know what's going on. If it was choppy, I apologize. If not, we'll just move on with our day. All right, she's warming up. Gonna give her 15 minutes or so to just get the blood moving, you know? So I got these new gloves. I got them off Amazon. I really like the, the brand. Uh, it's called Vigo or Vigo. I've shared them with you before. I got a new type from them. I needed new gloves because well, it happens. I need new gloves. I found these. They're insulated, so they're like winter working gloves. They're not made for the coldest parts of winter, but up to like minus five Celsius, they say, or like 20 Fahrenheit, something like that, or 25 Fahrenheit. I don't know. So they're not made for the coldest, but I really like it that they're, they're all covered in latex rubber. So the snow, when it gets on your hands and melts, it doesn't actually get into the glove. Your hands stay dry. The worst part about winter is when your hands get wet and cold. It's the worst because then you can't warm them up. And I always have to use like different pairs of gloves. So I keep one dry and then I use one till they get wet. Then I put them on the defroster and uh, dry them off while I use the other pair. I'm hoping these will work. They're very comfortable actually. It's not an ad or anything, but I got them on Amazon. They have a whole bunch of different types of gloves. I'm giving these a shot. So far, I, I, I like them, but we'll see how they do today. I bought two pairs of these red ones, and I just, I liked them so much when they came in uh, came in the mail yesterday that uh, I bought five more pairs of black ones. Because I think black will show the dirt less. They won't look as dirty so fast, hopefully. We'll see. Wonderful, wonderful weather. Wonderful. Wonderful. So glad to be a Manitoban today. So glad. Oh, there's a bird. Hey. See that? Ready to go, girl? All right. All our gauges are looking good. Buckle myself in so I don't fall out crossing the parking lot. It's cold out there. I don't want to fall out. She's still not completely warm, though. But she's sitting at about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll just have to do. I shall warm up right away as soon as we start moving. I might have to get a winter cover for this to see if I can get that set up. I don't necessarily have to have it, it just helps with uh, heating. I can always put a piece of cardboard on there too if I want to look a little redneck. It's not quite cold enough to put something in front of the grill yet anyways. You want to do that when it gets down past minus 20, minus 30 Celsius. You want to cover up your radiator just a little bit to preserve heat, otherwise your engine can't uh, keep itself warm enough to warm up the cab and stuff because the outside temperature is cooling off the engine so fast right? So sometimes you want to prevent a little bit of air from getting you don't want to prevent all the air from getting through but You want to run a little bit of it just to preserve some of the heat. Okay Whoa careful adjust my air freshener here just a little bit see if I can get out of here without locking up my diffs How many of you think I'm stuck right now? You would be correct one second. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, we move forward. Okay, camera. There we go. I'm not stuck. Ha! Ha ha! Let's go up front and see what they got for us today. All right, now the trick is to not get stuck on the way out. rental trailer behind me I'm gonna hook up onto it and bring it back we don't need it anymore apparently oh, I'm gonna 
want to take a little bit of a running start. It's snowy out, so I had to lock up my diffs. Okay, come on. Come to me, baby. Come on. Get under there. Walk in. Come on. Ah. See, I don't want to hit it too hard. I got to hit it hard enough. Okay, gonna have a little, little bit harder. A little bit harder here, okay. Might be a little bit of a thump. Did it lock in? I think we're locked in. I'll go and double verify that. Take my new gloves. They will come in very handy today because a lot of snow everywhere today. Jeez. Now this feels like home. Okay, now it didn't look like it fully locked in, so I'm gonna go underneath here. I'm gonna check. Oh yeah, it's locked in. It's locked in, all right, okay. So what we're doing is bringing this trailer back to the rental place, but these bunks, like these things here, those are ours, so I got to take those off of here first and return this trailer. This is one of those stretch trailers. I guess we don't need it anymore. All right, we're hooked up. Let's fill it up with air. I really hope that the uh, the brakes aren't frozen on it, but I have a feeling that they might be. This is the perfect weather for it. And fill them up. Let those brakes release. Hopefully. Sometimes in cold weather like this, in situations like this where uh, when it was parked here, they were warm and then it started raining. So they got wet and then it froze. So they're frozen. They might be, uh, the, the pads might be frozen to the brake drum. And the way you fix that is you get underneath there with a hammer or something and you just give them a tap and they usually release. But hopefully we won't have to do that. I think I'm gonna have to go climb underneath there and tap them a bit. I think we're, I think they're frozen shut. Yeah, they're definitely locked. Ah, shoot. Yep, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the red brake couple of times, pull it out, push it back in, give the system charge it and discharge it a couple of times. Sometimes that helps the brakes to let loose. Okay, now I'll release the brakes and I'll keep the truck brakes on. I'm gonna go underneath there and uh, see if they're frozen on and if I can tap them loose. All right. Ah, winter. So, I don't think I have a good hammer to use with me. Usually I do. But I have some other tools in here that uh, should work just as well. Oh, now this is frozen too. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's use the crowbar. You can just use that to whack just a little bit. Just give it a little wacky whack. Okay, uh, let's get down in the snow. Right. Fun times. This is part of the job. I actually do find this fun. I'm not joking around or anything. This is part of trucking. Oh, I can't get around here. All right then, we shall find another way. The gloves are pretty good, my hands are staying dry. And this latex rubber on here is super grippy. All right, so we got three axles on this thing. And I gotta crawl under there. Oh yeah, they'll be frozen on there. See that there? They are frozen onto the drum there, so we'll take this and we'll just gently tap on the brake there until they release. And we'll do that on all, all the tires. So one second here. Okay, so we're underneath here. These brake drums have a cover over them. But you can see in there if it's stuck on or not. 
sure if you can see it or not. But, uh, all six. You just gotta go there and uh, gently tap on them. Just give it a little. cover on there but uh, you don't want to hit it too hard just hard enough just to get it to loosen there we go yep winter has arrived at least it stopped snowing it's a little bit blowy right now still wind coming out of the north off to our left there which means cold weather is going to be coming with that I'm just gonna take it real easy today. Real easy. No sudden movements, no risks. That's nice and easy. This is not the day to let the pipes sing. This is the day to just make sure nothing goes wrong. I'm gonna wait for this pickup to get past me. And I'm gonna get in that right lane. And here we go. This lane has been salted so you can give her a little bit more. We've got no load on the trailer, so we don't want to. We don't want to get too carried away. The more weight you have on your trailer, the better your traction is. Well, we haven't gotten three miles down the road, and we already see our first tow truck pulling someone out. Oh, he's towing them. Oh, he's towing them out of there. The vehicle must have been left there. I've heard from uh, my other co-workers who came in from all different uh, directions saying that uh, there's a bunch of vehicles in the ditch already. Oh yeah, this is a big one. Oh, he jackknifed, didn't he? Didn't he? He did? Oh, he bit the dust hard. Check this out, guys. Check this out. I can clean the window off for you before we get there. Why is it spraying like way up there? Oh well. Here we go. We got ourselves a winner. Oh, what are they doing? Why is this brake lights on? Dude, you're stuck. You're not getting out of that. Call the tow truck, bud. Can't park there, bud. Can't park there. Oh, he's driving out! He's driving out! Oh, they put the chains on the tires. Oh, hey, that was smart. Okay, yeah, they just chained up and drove right out. Okay. Oh, the excitement. The first snowfall, right? Anyone else? Anyone else bite the dust? Oh, I'm sure there'll be lots more yet. This will be a very entertaining day. I just hope nobody gets hurt. I guess I'm gonna wait for him. No, he's gonna wait for me. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Come on, come on, I can do this. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. It's all good, thanks bud. All good. He was smiling. I guess it's not every day that a trucker passes him with a camera strapped to his head. I always get some pretty weird looks or smiles or laughs. What? It's not something you see every day or what? It's pretty normal for me. I mean, I see it every day. Look at this big snow, all the snow just from last night. 
Wow. I guess they got it right out here in the open. They're going to haul it away. I don't... Or maybe they're just going to leave it there. I don't know. I'm, however, going to pull up right here and then uh, go in and talk to the wonderful people inside. Ask them where they want this trailer. I need to get some paperwork from them for it. I think I can... You know what? I don't know if I should park here. I want to park out of the way. I'm going to go... I'm going to go over here. I'll wait for this guy. I'm just going to go park up beside that utility trailer over there. Didn't see that guy coming. He kind of scared me. There we go. I just want to be out of the way. I don't know where their snow clearing equipment is right now. and I don't want to block their driveway or what, what's going on. McMunn and Yates. Hey, I found your trailer. If you're looking for it, it's over here. Right beside me. Okay. Let's go figure this out. We made it. All right, it is hot in here. Woo, I always turn heat up too high in the winter. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk over there and walk back and I'll be cold again. So I'll just leave the heat on for now. Press myself all up. Take my wonderful devices with me. Okay. Got the paperwork right here, right? In my pocket, that's where I put it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. Tell the government what I'm doing right now. Nosy people. Okay. I'll be right back. Ah, boy, oh boy. All right, girl, you stay right there, okay? Stay, don't go anywhere. Stay. Good girl. So yeah, this is uh, where we're at. It's actually not very cold out. So I've got the paperwork here now for it. They gotta inspect it before I go. Look how high this trailer deck is. Look, I'm five foot ten. It's up to my chin. <laughs> this is a really high trailer. trailer and I've been instructed to go and uh, drag my butt back to the yard bobtailing so this should be fun on the on the ice well the weather cleared up a lot so that's good but we're supposed to get more snow tonight I don't know they told us we get like 25 centimeters today and yesterday and we only got five according to the news how do I, where's my butt? I need my butt to get out of here. And now they're calling for another three to five centimeters. So judging by that same logic, I'm guessing we should probably get what, a light dusting tonight? This was all just sheer ice this morning. What's probably gonna happen is a lot of it a lot of it ended up melting during the day and it's just gonna refreeze over tonight. At least tomorrow's Saturday. Tomorrow we have a, an event at one of our friends, I think near Portage La Prairie, where we're gonna head out to. Looking forward to that. Haven't seen them in a long time. Hopefully the roads are good. If not, I got four wheel drive. Not much scares me anymore these days. As long as the roads are open, they're not closed, we'll be there. <laughs> 